Overly Messy Basement Shelf presents... Right here we've got a APC Backups Pro 420. This was given to me several years ago and the uh, battery has just plain gone kaput. I think the battery is, yeah, the battery is over there, over next to that Laserdisc box. However, uh, I've been thinking about doing this for a while, so... Uh, UXW Build did a video about running using an external battery with a UPS, and I decided I was going to do the same thing. So while I was at my friendly neighborhood Walmart getting groceries, I bought some wire, a few connectors I didn't have, and a lawn tractor battery. That's $28 for that battery. A proper replacement is cheaper, but one of these should run longer. I've got a... I also bought some crimp connectors. Now, internally, the UPS is wired with a 14 gauge. However, because of the link, I wanted to have plenty of wire in case uh, the battery had to be some distance from the UPS, so I went ahead and used 12 gauge. However, for safety, I did use a 15 amp fuse, so, and you can see I just used uh, just crimp connectors right onto a fuse, which actually, you can see on this junk AP, much larger junk APC UPS, is exactly how they did it. However, of course, on a much larger scale, that's a 60 right there. But anyway, I just ran right out the vent holes. Uh, I didn't grommet this side, I probably should have. However, the other side is grommeted and hot glued. To make sure it doesn't rub. Uh, the fuse acts as a quick disconnect in case I need to move the two and then I've got a quick disconnect on the negative so I can just unhook it and separate the two in case I need to move them. Makes moving around a lot easier but anyway that's what I got going. I've uh, I've got it down here in the basement. I've got it running a couple things and this much larger UPS is still running the servers so as you can see, it also needs new batteries, so that will come in the future. I've got some other stuff I need to do down here on server row, and then I will uh, get to this uh, UPS repair. However, any way you look at it, it ain't going to be cheap. And that loud noise you hear is this uh, Pentium 166 firewall. One of the fans has a bad bearing or something, but <laughs> it still runs. Despite being, uh, beat the crap. But anyway, that is, uh, I don't, ha I forgot to pick up an enclosure for it. However, just stationary like this down here in the basement, uh, just sitting out like that shouldn't be a big deal. And, uh, if I need the uh, backup power upstairs, I'll probably just run a extension cord down here. Since this isn't going to be able to power a very big load anyway. It's just mainly uh, just for lights and stuff and to keep the internet up. 